Yeah, I wanted to write a specific application for and, and a specific piece for this instrument. And uh, it occurred to me that we didn't put a resonant body on, on the back of it like you normally would with an acoustic instrument. <coughs> and so I wanted to give a try at making an electronic resonant space for it. And, uh, then, and to do that, I am hooking the button press data and the audio up to Max Matthews's phaser filter program. And uh, what that is, is it's a huge bank of 19 resonant filters that are filtering the, uh, the acoustic, the audio data from, from the lattice heart. But at the same time, um, the button press data is tuning them and making it so that it's a shifting harmonic space that reacts to what the strings are tuned to. Um, let's see. Uh, I like the chaotic nature of not being able to control exactly how many button presses you're getting at one time. Um, because it makes it more like an analog instrument. And uh, so I wanted to use that to my advantage and make a more improvisational piece with this. And uh, so let's see what happens. Um, let's see. Um, okay, then I should switch over video so I can show you a little more detail what I'm doing for this piece. However, okay, so what I decided to do with the button press data is to um, map it to uh, the cutoff frequencies of these filters, and uh, I have a little uh, diagram of the grid for this. Um, so, like Nick said, we tuned the bottom row to uh, B major, so those are those eight strings right here, and we tuned the, uh, the other row to uh, E major, um, and so I'm, what I've already done is fed in the, the fundamental frequencies of each of the B major strings. And uh, whenever there is a button press in a column like this, that corresponds to a scale degree. So um, a button press here at uh, the second row in the first column would mean uh, that I send one of the filters the frequency of D sharp. Um, because that is the second scale degree in major. And uh, I can set the modes of each column of strings independently as well. Um, I've set them to Ionian, Dorian, Phrygian, Lydian, the normal major modes to correspond with B major. Um, except just to uh, try it out, um, instead of using the Ionian twice, um, I put Lydian, give it an extra sharp four for the top string. and. Uh, what happens next in my patch is that all of this frequency data is being stored in a table when I tell um, the program to listen. And then at a speed that I can control with a tap tempo or from tapping in the tempo by playing attacks on here, um, this table spits back out the filter frequency data um, semi-randomly, transposing it up or down by open intervals and it creates this moving, constantly mutating harmonic space for this acoustic instrument to sit in. Um, and uh, we called the piece uh, Tracing Patterns from the Cobwebs. Oh yeah, right, forgot one thing. And uh, my me mode of playing of choice is with these regular old files, because you get kind of a dampened sound when you use the plastic ends and uh, the metallic sound from the other. Um, and I like the idea of since the button press data is creating chords similarly to what Nick and Colin were doing, I decided to focus more on this as a rhythm instrument and let the chords do what they will. <laughs> <laughs>